Hey everybody, it's James again. Welcome back to EAP Space. I hope that you enjoyed last week's class, found it interesting and useful for your English progression. Hope you'll be excited for this week's class, week 10. Last week's outcome focused on reading and listening strategies, academic writing structure, description of an item and modal verbs. In this week's class, we will be focusing on the following parts. Reading. You will be learning about how to locate the main idea and identify details. Writing. You will also learn how to write in academic structure and compose a concluding sentence. Listening. You will focus on listening strategies on answering multiple choice questions. Speaking. We will focus on describing a movie. Vocabulary. We will learn 10 academic vocabularies. Grammar. You will gain an overview of adjectives and adverbs. Wonderful. Now you have an overview of what you will be learning this week. We wish you the best of luck learning, and if you have any questions, please feel free to visit our online consultations if you encounter any problems on EAP Space. Hey guys, today we're doing a really fun game. It's called Make Up the Story with parts of random words with random objects in it. Um, so we're just gonna go over and look at the rules and we'll get started. Okay, this is the first time we're doing this, so I'm gonna pick randomly. Ready? Ready. Go. One day, John gets up with a rubber duck in his hand. He thinks to himself, why am I holding this rubber duck I haven't seen in five years? There must be something happening. He looks over the room. There's rubber bands on the ground everywhere. His friends must be playing pranks on him. He walks over to the living room and then yells out, Strawberry! His friend looks at him. Hi, John. Good morning. What's up? Why is there a bunch of rubber bands in my room? John asks. Strawberry, his friend, who is also named Jeff, told him, Oh, that's not worse. I have a bunch of potato chips in my room. What's happening? I don't know, John said. Maybe I'll just get a rope and kill myself. What else we can do? Strawberry said, let's go out, forget about this house, and go hunt for some butterfly. Oh, that's really good. Okay, so with that story, I'll probably rate myself 10 out of 10. <laughs> what would you guys rate? <laughs> mm, I'll go with 9. It's really good. Um, right on time as well. Yes. The timing is really good, but I don't like the killing part. That's, That's true. It. But nine, I think it's really good. Yeah, I'll give it a nine as well, because I reckon calling the French strawberry was a, it was a fit, you know, doesn't really fit yeah, the story. In, in the just, story yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just, yeah, getting it from the book, yeah. Okay, I'll go next. I don't think my story will be as creative as yours, though. Besides the strawberry part, I think I can do better than that. Okay, try it first. Oh, sorry. Alright. I'm um, ready. Okay. So, I was in the pop, pop, my bathtub one day with my rubber duck, and I decided to have some oranges whilst I was taking a bath. It was quite nice and relaxing until I thought, huh, maybe it's time for some spaghetti. So I decided to get out of the bathtub and I tripped over a tire. What is a tire doing in my bathroom? It's unbelievable. So 
somehow I lost my appetite and decided to just eat the leftover rice um, in the fridge. But I may as well just eat potato chips because tripping over that tire doesn't make me want to um, just relax and not cook. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm sitting on the couch with my rubber ducky and my potato chips. The end. I'll probably rate this 8 out of 10 because it's just a typical day uh, of Jenny's original life. I don't have a bathtub. Oh. <laughs> Do you like potato chips? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> I'll go with 9. Um, it's really entertaining to hear that, um, like how she can talk about Tyre um, during day-to-day -day life. Um, but he did. she did say um, so mm. yeah, I'll go with 9. Alright, Kat, mm. are you ready? Well, I'm gonna spread, uh, press start anyway. Alright, okay. So, um, my mom went to the supermarket and bought two pineapples and matchbox because she realised that the electricity was off. Then, she realises that the matches is missing most of it. It's only half boxes left. And she went home and she realized that we ran out of toothbrush. So she ended up telling me not to brush my teeth at night. She realized that my dad took a lighter home from work and have half a watermelon from his boss. That's and then we went to bed without brushing our teeth uh, and no electricity. So I was struggling to sleep because I used to brush my teeth and that's the end of the story. Yay! It's good, it's good. It was so bad. It's a pretty good story. I rate it. Seven and a half out of ten. There's, there aren't a lot of twists, but it's a good thing though she didn't say any mm, or um. Yeah, well, I'll give you a 10 out of 10 since um, when we had the conversation about our lunch today, uh, you said a quite a few ums, but um, during this, <laughs> I say a lot of ums, so I definitely understand how hard it is not to um, use stalling phrases like um, so that's why I think it's worth 10 out of 10. But I think I did really bad. First time I'm, I'm not losing. I'm really happy. So let's get to the fun part. Punishment. Alright. Our learning outcome this week is reading and listening strategies, including sentences and adjectives and adverbs. 